Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Ace in the Desert. My name is Kyle, and I'll be your guide today to learn the basics of the card game Bridge. Um, you may have found this page through a Bridge friend that had shared a video, or maybe you just found this randomly scrolling YouTube. Anyway, that's awesome. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy this video. So, today I'm here to talk about kind of a basic first lesson to the card game Bridge. If you've never played anything like Bridge, Bridge is a traditional card game played with a deck of 52 cards, just like any other deck. Um, we sort our hands kind of like below. We so, as you see on, right in front of you on the screen, hint, this is kind of supposed to be a preview of what Bridge like looks like. We sort our hands into four suits. Um, we try to sort them by rank of the cards, so aces tend to be high. Twos tend to be low, and it goes, you know, ace, king, queen, through the deuce, which is the two. And we have four different suits, right? We have spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. If you've never seen them before, spades are pointy, hearts are round, clubs are clovey, and diamonds are, well, most people know what diamonds are, are diamondy. Uh, so we have four suits, and then... There's also a fifth suit in quotes called No Trump. Um, so I don't know if you've played any card games like Bridge. So Bridge is a trick-taking game. So if you've ever played like War when you were a kid, and War, both people play a card, and the higher card wins, right? Um, Bridge is that, except you play four cards. You play four cards out, and the highest one wins. And everyone has 13 cards, so you do this 13 times, and essentially you're trying to take you're trying to win the most um, cards played. So every time a card is played and everyone plays one card, it's called what's known as a trick. Um, you may not have heard that terminology before. So like as I'm going back to the war example, you play a card, your opponent plays a card. This time four people show a card and the highest one wins. That's called a trick. And we have 13 tricks in a hand of bridge. So basically your goal is to take the most tricks. Um, bridge is a unique aspect in that you usually have a partner. So adding, it's kind of like, you can think of it of almost three-dimensional war, right? You are playing with a partner um, against another pair, and it's sort of like, you don't care if you or your partner wins the trick. Um, there's basically two sides. There's your side and there's the opponent's side, because your opponents, your two opponents are teamed up too, besides your partner. So it's basically war, but two cards are played at once from the same side, and you're trying to win the most tricks. Um, so we're going to play kind of a basic hand, just so you can kind of see what it is. I'm on a fabulous website um, through the American Contract Bridge League, biggest bridge organization in North America. And this video, um, not this video, no, yeah, this video is featuring... Uh, application on ACBL called Mini Bridge. Mini Bridge is just a way to kind of simplify Bridge for the first time you're playing. So Mini Bridge, you don't worry about what I'm doing now. I'm simplifying what's known as the bidding stage of Bridge. We're just going to get playing. So the way this works is Wes led a heart, and we're going to click on a heart from the north hand. So I'm actually controlling both. The hands are labeled directions, right? We got north, east, south, north, east, south, and west. And the goal here, um, not the goal, but basically everyone's assigned a direction. North and south are partners, east and west are partners. I'm actually taking advantage of something called the dummy mechanic, so I'm controlling both my partner's hand and my hand right now. So we're going to continue to just play tricks. So I played a card from partner's hand. And I'm going to play a card from my hand. Let's play the high one, right? Aces beat queens because they go ace to two. And maybe we play another heart because king of hearts is also high. Maybe we just cash it. Okay. And we can play other high cards too, right? We got the ace king of diamonds. We got the queen jack of diamonds. Let's win the queen because we know it's, it's going to be high because we also have the ace king. Let's even play the jack. Let's take our high cards while we can, right? This might be your basic strategy, first time playing bridge, right? You want to win tricks, so you're going to play your high cards. So here, we have to continue playing something new. 
Um, we, I notice we have a lot of high spades. Maybe I play a high spade out. Okay, we lost that trick because we were missing the ace. Um, so they're going to play the seven. Let's try to win this trick. We'll play the king. Maybe that will win. Oh, we're missing the ace and the clubs too. So you're going to keep playing rounds and rounds of tricks. Um, we're going to lose hearts now, it looks like, unfortunately. Um, I If you can't win a trick, you just discard a card, any other card in your hand, like as long as hearts are led. I should say, so the card that wins, a suit. I forgot to mention a basic rule of bridge. So when a suit is led, you have to follow suit if possible. So once a heart is led, the only cards that can win are, are the hearts, and you have to play a heart if you have a heart. So I don't have hearts. If you don't have the suit led, you discard. Um, and this card you discard will usually never win a trick. So we're going to discard a bunch of cards. And, okay, we won the last trick. So we took six, or we took seven of the 13 tricks, which maybe isn't that bad, right? Um, so we can try that again with maybe a little more strategy. We're going to, so we're playing in what's called no trump. So in no trump, as a, as no trump is the basic situation in which kind of explained when a suit is led if you can't follow suit to that trick um you just discard something and if there's a trump suit there's a little um shift on that rule um instead of just discarding something if you have a trump card you can play a trump and a trump will usually win um the trick of the suit led unless a higher trump is played and we can get into the caveats of how that works later um, but let's just explore like another hand for now. So they play a spade. So we talked about like ways to win tricks. Um, so we could play the ace here. Um, it seems logical. Like we can counter trick. One thing we do is we can counter tricks in bridge. Um, so we have all four aces here, which is really nice. We can always win four aces. We can also win with touching cards. So like the king queen. So we have the ace and the king and the queen. Um, so that's kind of called promoting the ranks of your suits. So maybe we'll win the ace, and we're going to take advantage of that new rule we discovered. Um, we won the ace, and if we have touching honors, we can promote the rank of our cards. The ace have been played, so the king is good. Um, that's another kind of rule of how bridge works. Let's see. Um, so we played the queen of diamonds. So the question is, have we promoted the nine and eight? Like that might be a that might be a question. We might, maybe we played so many diamonds that the nine and the eight are good. Um, let's play one and see what kind of happens. Okay, so the ten has been played. So that isn't good, but you'll notice that's kind of another rule of finding tricks in the game bridge, is that you're constantly trying to promote the ranks of cards. Even the two of a suit can become high if all the other cards in a suit have played. So you get to see, so because bridge isn't just one round of tricks, like it's not just play the highest card from your hand and the hand is over, you have to play 13 different tricks in a row. There's strategy into how to maximize your tricks. It's not always about just cashing your high cards. Sometimes there is, there's all sorts of different strategies on how to develop more tricks for your side because the goal is to win as many tricks as possible. So we'll finish this hand. And we'll continue playing it out. I'm just playing low, trying to win tricks. Um, I think the Nine of Diamonds is actually high now, because as I was talking about, we can establish tricks and new suits. And I don't really know what's going on. Um, if you don't know what's going on, that's okay. You can always try to cash your high cards. Maybe the Queen of Spades is good. Maybe the Ace King have been played. It's okay if you don't remember at first. Bridge is a game of learning. It's making mistakes. Um, and you can always learn new things the more you play which is something that people really like about it. So that was a basic, what's called a no trump contract. Um, next, I'll demonstrate a little bit of what trump looked like. So you notice this hand, we have a lot of diamonds. Okay, so we're gonna play in diamonds this time. So they're leading a diamond, okay. Well, it looks like the nine's gonna win. Um, and we can do things. So let's start caching our tricks. So we, one thing you might do, we might do the same thing as a no trump, right? We're going to play 
we're going to just take our winners. We have all these high clubs. Um, what could go wrong, right? You might be thinking. So we're playing all these clubs, and oh no. Did you see what just happened? East played a trump card. So East, so you notice, you may be asking why didn't the opponents play trump before when I was leading clubs? They didn't have high clubs. Maybe they would have done better if they tried to play a trump. Um, well, there's a basic rule in bridge, as I may have mentioned before in passing. It's that you have to follow suit if you have a card. So one of the key principles is you have to play a card in the suit lad if you have one. Um, so there it looked like, I guess, East had no more clubs. So they were able, usually you would just discard, but because we're in a trump contract, they were able to trump. So they played a diamond, and because they played the highest diamond on that trick, they won. So what we usually do in a trump contract is we want to make sure the we want if we can if we have no reason to wait we want to pull trump. So we're gonna play diamonds now, and we're gonna hope that they won't have any more diamonds. So we started, if you remember, we started with six diamonds. Um, our partner had one diamond. Um, so eventually they run out. And you can start to count things. You can take advantage of information you have. So if I have six diamonds and partner had one and East had one, how many diamonds are remaining? Well, there's 13 cards in every suit. So you do a little first grade math. You add six and one and one and you get eight. And you subtract it from 13, and we know West started with 5 diamonds. So now we're done with diamonds. And now we might continue to try to take more tricks. So we can win the ace. And if you remember, we established... Um, so before we talked about... We may not remember what happened in clubs, but cool things happen. So if we've been counting clubs, you might have noticed that they don't have any more clubs. So even the 9 is high. Um, and these are cool things you can start to do as you learn the strategies of bridge. So, in summary of our lesson, um, so this tool is called Mini Bridge. You can find it online at ACBL. Just Google ACBL Mini Bridge. It's under a little page called Learn to Play Bridge. And what you can do is you know, just practice your card play. You can look at the, you get to look at your hand, you get to look at your partner's hand. You'll always, this isn't something you'll get when you're playing in real life, but you you can look at partner's hand and you can decide if you want a trump suit. So here we have eight hearts, maybe one hearts to be trump, or we can try our luck at no trump if we think, man, we have really good hands. Um, you can pick different levels, so you can try to guess how many tricks you might take. Um, you don't have to really worry about this function the first time you're taking, but if you notice, like you might count your tricks before you start, and you notice, hey, I have three spades, five hearts, two clubs, and an ace. So I know off the top I can take five, six, seven, eight tricks, so I might try to go for um, the two level, which, so there's different, so we'll talk about bidding in my next video. So there's two parts to bridge, actually. You might not, we haven't actually talked about this yet. There's the play, which is the part you've seen. But there's actually a part before the play, and that's known as the bidding. Um, and the bidding determines, essentially, the stakes of the hand. The bidding, um, it's or, or sometimes known as the auction. And like any auction, um, you're buying for the prize. In this case, um, what's known as the contract. And basically, your determ the contract, all it determines is the stakes of the hand, how many points you can win on a given deal. And it also determines if there's a trump suit or there isn't a trump suit. So in our next deal, in our next lesson, we'll talk a little bit more about bidding and its influence on the game of bridge. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. Got to learn a little bit about card play and bridge and kind of you know, a little bit of the basics of the strategy, um, certainly at least the basic mechanics and a little taste of the strategy. And I hope this little tutorial was informative. Um, so thanks for watching my channel, Ace in the Desert, and hope to see you next time. Good day.